right now on Infowars.com. Woman born in Nazi Germany, Trump isn't like Hitler, rioting leftists are. What reminds me more of Hitler than anything else is the destruction of freedom of speech on college campuses. A woman who was born in Nazi Germany says that what reminds her of Hitler more than anything else isn't Donald Trump, but the rioting leftists who are attempting to shut down free speech on college campuses. I'm not going to lie. When I saw this story from Paul Joseph Watson, I got a little twinkle in my eye. Do you know how many times I've had to put up with, Trump is like Hitler, Trump is like Hitler. That video of myself getting assaulted at the march in D.C., I was shooting a report saying, you know, I kind of feel like this is what a Nazi Germany rally would feel like when I got assaulted. And now I'm justified. Now I feel totally, totally at ease with myself thanks to this woman, an actual survivor of Nazi Germany, saying it's not Trump that's like Hitler, it's the left that is. Inga Anders grew up in Dusseldorf, Germany during the Second World War and spent time hiding in air raid shelters and helping to clean up rubble from destroyed buildings. Here's what she told the Independent Review Journal. What's going on in this country is giving me chills. Trump is not like Hitler. Just because a leader wants order doesn't mean they're like a dictator. But if these people keep behaving the way they are behaving, the judges, the protesters in the streets, the Democrats crying on the floor, they're gonna make Trump into a dictator. What reminds me more of Hitler than anything else isn't Trump, it's the destruction of freedom of speech on college campuses, the agendas fueled by professors. Yeah, these are professors that go out and actually march in the rallies against Trump. These are professors who actually go out and shut down free speech in public. That's how Hitler started. He pulled in the youth to miseducate them, to brainwash them. It's what's happening today. America needs to grow up. The young people who are rioting and destroying property who have no respect for elders and freedom of speech. I was so proud to become a citizen of this country. And that's actually an interesting point. It's like these protesters have no pride in being Americans. They have no American pride. And we saw, thanks to a John Rappaport report, that these are kids in colleges that are being heavily medicated. A quarter of college students are heavily medicated with SSRI drugs or being seen for mental health issues. The demonstrators can't tell you why they're demonstrating. Hmm, I'm thinking that Inga has seen some of our videos. I see what's happening here reflecting some of the things we saw in Germany, and it's terrifying. Exactly, young people out in the streets coming together, parroting the same talking points over and over again with absolutely zero substance. Trump is not like Hitler. The theory that he is is propaganda. All you have to do is read some books about that period to see how wrong that theory is. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. Thank you so much, Inga. Exactly. The students haven't read anything about Nazi Germany. They, who knows what last time they even read a book. They're obviously not going to history class. They're out protesting on the streets while history class is going on. Andrew survived the war before making it to the United States after her mother married an American, but not before undergoing extreme vetting at a number of different U.S. military camps. So we had a vetting process like what we are going through now because you have to have this to make the country safe, is what Andrews said. Or we can just have open borders, let everyone in, and turn into the countries that these people are fleeing from. Andrews concluded by warning that we will repeat history if Americans sacrifice the ability to think freely and unquestionably swallow media propaganda about Trump. Exactly. Thank you so much, Inger Andrews, for stepping up and making this message. But what I'm concerned about is if this continues to go down, they will turn Trump into a dictator, and they'll blame us for doing it. This is Owen Schroyer for InfoWars.com. I'm not gonna sit here and take it anymore! Talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a he's a conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. And deeply, I think, racist. I just got called racist by MSNBC. I don't want that man to have a gun. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Alex Jones Show. Watch the free stream live at Infowars.com forward slash show.